is Gizu, it's your boy Sam, back here with another video, and in this video today, guys, we're going to be going over each and every one of the new Bracket Busters cards, as well as the Christian Leitner added to NBA 2K24, my team. Now, it's kind of a sad day because Bracket Busters, in my opinion, has always been super exciting in my team. And sadly, all of these cards are hidden behind gambling. I mean, it, it really is sad that that's the way it is. That's the way uh, 2K has kind of uh, made things go. But it's where we're at in my team. I mean, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. That's how things are. And, uh, and 2K really doesn't care. Like, it, it is what it is. And, uh, and, and again, that's ultimately where we're at. But we'll be going over all of these cards here in this video. Starting with George Niang, 6'7", 6'9", a wingspan here, 96 three ball, 85 standing driving dunk, 85 field ball, 86 ball handle. Defensively, Niang not good. And I mean, it's pretty uh, pr pretty kind of similar to real life, but defensive badges. I mean, anchor, box that beast, brick wall, immobile enforcer, post lockdown, really solid shooting badges. You upgrade the defensive stats a little bit. George Niang based on quick walk to see what that's like. Brian Triple style, normal leaner. I think he's actually got some decent potential. I, and again, we'll see uh, how he is. But I do think because his defensive badges are so good that he does have some potential from where I thought he would be in my team. Like when I first loaded up the game and saw George Ning with like an 83 into, or 83 perimeter, I'm like, yikes. But I do think the card has some potential in my team. Ray for friends up next. Malachi Flynn base on a normal, normal leaner. 93 by 87 speed, a 92 into your 88 lateral quickness. Here's your first budget big that can compete at the highest level. I mean, we've seen bigs before, but we have not seen a big like Ray for friends that's going to be able to get you paint stops. It's going to be able to shoot the rock. It's going to be able to do it all at the highest level. Ray for friends is going to be absolutely elite in my team. So there is like a deluxe pack that you can grind for today. Hope you got to hope you get Ray for friends because I'm telling you, if you get him out of that Pink Diamond Deluxe Pack, you are definitely going to enjoy the card. It's just the facts of the situation. Good release, a high three ball. I mean, just just can do it all at, at a very high level. I mean, it really is that simple for Rafe. If I get him out of a, a pack, I will be really, really happy. can play the power forward position as well. There's really no downsides to Rafe. And again, if you get him, you should be a very, very, very thankful. Steve Blake up next, 6'3", 6'6", wingspan, 93 three ball, 94 speed, 93 ladder quickness. Driving dunk is still low. Shooting wise, really solid. Playmaker wise, fine. Defensively can get the job done. Vando based on normal timing for a 6'3 point guard in nearly April. I, I I don't know how else to phrase it. He is horrible. I'm sorry, Steve Blake. You are not getting the job done for me. It's that simple, that easy. If you're playing Jared Vanderbilt, uh, or if you're playing Steve ba Blake with the Jared Vanderbilt base at this stage, he, you're doing something wrong. Joakim Noah up next. I mean, DBG already tweeted it. I know his release got a little hurt. He had uh, his, his last base, I think, was the default small base. I don't really remember it. Obviously, he couldn't really shoot anyways. Now he's got the Al Horford base with the default big upper. I mean, that's going to be a, a, a pretty bad release. I'm just being honest with you. Not great. He is 84,000 MT, which isn't super expensive for a great defense player. I just wish his release was a little bit better. Because if it was, he you could run a front, front court of really Joakim Noah and Ray for friends and have a ton of success. Like, both those cards are obviously really good. I do wish his release was just slightly better. But Joakim Noah can still get the job done. Kirk Heinrich up next, 6'4", 6'6", wingspan, 95, 3 ball, 95 speed, 97 lateral, good interior perimeter. Driving dunk at an 80, obviously wish it was a little higher. Defensively, outstanding, exquisite, even comes with that immovable enforcer release-wise. Case B base on normal, really solid, normal leaner, D-book, dribble style. Heinrich can play a little bit, not great. Obviously, do wish that release was at least on quick, but Heinrich... Really solid in my team. How I'd rank the Pink Diamonds, Ray for friends, huge, huge, huge gap. Then Joakim Noah, Kirk Heinrich, George Yang, Steve Blake. Then our free card, you do have to play uh, co-op for Christian Leitner. I think it's 50 co-op wins. 96 three ball, 85 steady dunk driving dunk, 86 field ball, ball handle, 88 speed, good interior perimeter, good rebounder. Not a lot bad I can say about him, honestly. I mean, that's it's just the truth. Hezhoff, anchor, brick, wall, rebound. Does have a ton of shooting badges. 
Wenyan Gabriel base on very quick D book leaner MJ dribble style. What what bad things could I possibly say about Christian Leitner? The car is absolutely elite. Tyler Ansborough up next, 6'9, 6'11. Wingspan, 92 3 ball, 95 speed, perfect defensively. Literally perfect defensively. Comes with the JT Thor base on very quick. I mean, you want your basically Bob Nedelecki of past years. That's kind of like what Tyler Hansborough is. Undersized at that four for sure, but a great release, really great defensively. If you get him, you'd run him. Simple, easy. Shane Battier up next. Uh, basically perfect stats. Comes with the Isaiah Roby based on very quick. Kroby dribble style, normal leaner. Again, what, what, what do you want me to say on these opals? So far, so good. Two for two. Brandon Miller might be the best. 6'9", Brandon Miller based on very quick. Pro three leaner is kind of troll, in my opinion. D-book dribble style. But even he is absolutely elite. I mean, there's nothing bad I can say about Brandon Miller. He's elite too. Danny Ferry, what release did they give him? The TP base on very quick. Steph dribble style, Nate Robinson leaner. I mean, Danny Ferry, absolutely elite. It's sad. These cards are all behind gambling because they're so good. Like if I could actually buy these cards for a set price, 2K would have me. I'd buy them. 95 three ball for Chet, 92 speed, 98 interior. One of your best bigs in the game is Chet. Maybe the best big in the entire game, especially at that power forward position. Then we get to the dark matters. Adam Morrison, 38 Hall of Fame badges. Basically perfect card. Steph Curry base, Jerry West upper on very quick. Basically his last release, now it's just on very quick. Kyrie dribble style, Kobe leaner, I mean. Your best small forward in the game is Adam Morrison. I, 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 wh what am I supposed to sit up here and say? Car Melo Anthony, 6'7". Obviously, uh, Melo based on very quick D-book dribble style, pro to leaner. He's so complete too. Like, all these cards are so good. I don't know how I'm supposed to, like... Yes, they're behind gambling, which does think like none of these cards are even attainable. But this drop is so much better than the drops we've been seeing. Like Galaxy Opal wise and above, there's no bad card. I mean, there's really not. Shane Batty, Brandon Miller are probably the worst two, but there's really no bad cards. Magic Johnson, 50 Hall of Famers. Magic Johnson based on very quick. Kyrie Dribble Style Pro 2 Leaner. I mean, the Magic Johnson based on very quick is pretty troll. Like, that's not very good. His release still is going to be on that slower side of things. But he has the Pro 2 Leaner. So, I mean, this is another drop for all money spent type of players. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. Out of your deluxe pack, obviously, if you get a Galaxy Opal, you're in good shape. If you do get a Pink Diamond out of your deluxe pack... You gotta hope, and this is this is just optimistic thinking. If you get a pink diamond, you gotta hope it's Rafe Friends. Because Rafe is the only pink diamond that I see that can play at this top level. But even with Rafe, guys, his release is still on that normal time. Now it's still good, but you gotta realize 2K has made Galaxy Opals so much better than Pink Diamonds that it's gotten to be kind of ridiculous at this stage. And again, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to, you know. I'm not trying to hype up the Galaxy Opals in the Dark Matters. Because am I going to rip packs today? No. But it's just one of those things you've got to at least realize what 2K is doing. And don't just be like, oh, well, Ty, uh, I'm just going to rip packs. Because no, see what 2K is doing. Wait till uh, next uh, uh, next week. And, and then we'll really see it. This is kind of the content we get next week. And the week after that. Well, guess what, guys? My team is tucked. If you try to stay up with the times, guys, you're going to be uh, spending so much money on this game. Because, again, there's no way. It's not like, oh, if you lock in all the Galaxy Opals, you for sure can get Adam Morrison or Carmelo Anthony. Like, what I would like, personally, and this is just me, you lock in the Pink Diamonds. Uh, you, 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 you get the, uh, an option pack at a Galaxy Opal. But then I feel like I wish there was some way you could lock in all the Galaxy Opals for a Dark Matter option pack. Then lock in the Dark Matters for Magic Johnson. I don't know. I wish there was a way to guarantee yourself all of that. But there's just not. And so here we are. Here we are. Just sitting here hidden behind gambling. And, and really as a community, we have nothing to show for it. So that's where we're at. Am I disappointed in another day? Uh, yeah, I, I, I ultimately am. Is this something that I'm looking at that's like, well, I guess if you spend money and do like to gamble, you're probably going to get some good cards? Sure. Like, it's it's just where it's at. But just be aware of the pack odds. If Opals are at 3%, realize you're probably going to have to rip like 50 packs to probably see a Galaxy Opal. 40 packs probably uh, at least. And then Dark Matter wise, again, it's going to say less than 2%, which we know how those odds truly are. Like if they gave us an exact odds 
or the Dark Riders on the 100 overall, that'd be another big step in 2K's right direction. But we know as a community, it's not going to happen. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.